Happy early Friday, everyone. This is my daily vlog, episode 17, and I want to talk today about addiction and alcoholism. Um, I've experienced both these things in my life. I've been to rehab, and I've taken a lot of medication in the past, I've met, and met a lot of very bad people along the way. Um, and I've always thought about what causes somebody to fall into this habit to where they're literally willing to sacrifice everything in their lives in order to feed this habit. I never got quite that bad, but I've met people, I've seen people, I've been friends with people where they would literally sacrifice everything. They would sacrifice their children in order to just experience the high one more time, and there's always that one more time. The moment keeps on becoming a new moment, and to where it could go on for eternity if the human body uh, lasted that long, if the human body could be sustained in a state of addiction for that long. Um, but what happens is, uh, there's a few ways that people become addicted. Um, one might be, oh, you just try it uh, once and see how it feels. Oh, it feels good. Okay, maybe I'll try it a few more times. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll do it, you know, only on the weekends and uh, just when I'm trying to lay back and have some fun and uh, when I'm winding down from work, something like that. And then it becomes, oh, maybe I'll do it three times a week, maybe I'll do it four times a week. And then it becomes like I'm doing it every day, uh, I'm just working to do it and to not really pay for anything else but this drug. It gets that bad to where you start losing everything, you're willing to pawn everything you have in order to feed this habit. Now it doesn't, doesn't happen overnight, it doesn't happen in a week, it doesn't happen in a month. It usually doesn't even happen in a year, um, unless it's crack or methamphetamine, um, but it is it has a way of uh, becoming like a snowball rolling down a, a snowy mountain, let's say. It kind of builds and builds and builds until it's this huge boulder that just destroys everything in your life. And you're nothing but at the center of this boulder. And that's all you care about is that boulder of snow <laughs> that's, uh, that's coming down the mountain. I guess it would be more like a boulder of ice if it would be considered a boulder. But anyway, um, now there's another way. Uh, some people actually start using or drinking because it's a way to escape the pain. And this is the way that I started, um, to being dependent on drugs and alcohol. Alcohol first and drugs. But because I've always been a, a schizophrenic, but it was very mild at first. And I'm medicated now to the extent where I'm basically completely normal. But um, I always had major, major depressive disorder because of schizophrenia. And really... You can't expect parents or family or friends to really know what's wrong with you, especially early on in your life. Uh, you can't expect them to you know, know that you have schizophrenia or that this is a problem with you and you need to be medicated because of it. But that's, that's what I dealt with even early as a child. Uh, and once I reached you know, 15 and I figured out, oh, this alcohol can numb me. I can actually be free from this feeling of depression and sadness and anger. Um, I was like, give me more, 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 more. <laughs> and that started at 15, and then it just, it went downhill very quickly for me. Um, weed was actually, uh, I wouldn't even call it a gateway drug for me. It was just, I'm not sure for how many people it is a gateway drug, but for me, it was not. It was just, it was just another thing to try so that I can escape the pain, the depression. And then I started getting addicted to other things. And, uh... It spiraled and it spiraled and it spiraled, but um, you know it landed me in a lot of bad places, uh, literal and uh, figurative. But um, that's that's just another way somebody can become attached to these substances. I'll go into different stories about my life and how it affected me in another video. But um, I'll say another way is and this is a, it's the it's the way that they always say in the ads and they always say in the uh, documentaries and uh, things that are made by people who don't use drugs or drink alcohol uh, at least most people that become addicted wouldn't say this peer pressure um, your friends are doing it oh I'm gonna do it and then you oh you get hooked and you're like okay well I'm gonna do it with my friends all the time no I'm gonna do it by myself and eventually you're just doing it by yourself and you're like okay well, how the fuck did I get here <laughs> but that's another way and you know there's other ways you get into addiction and um, alcoholism you know, whatever whatever you get attached to uh, in order to cope with your daily life or if that is your life. There's many ways you come to these things, but the reason people stay in these things is because 
you start to only focus on getting that next fix. You start to only focus on getting that next feeling of euphoria. You start to only focus on getting that next numbing so you can do with the rest of your life. And once you start focusing on that, you get so close to it that you can't see anything else. You can only see that and you can only see the next step to getting that. And without a decision that you need to escape it or that this is destroying your life, you need to step away from it and become somebody else because you've become somebody terrible. Or without friends and family pushing you to get away from it or uh, giving you a reason to get away from it. You can use and drink for the rest of your life. It can become your life and then that's all you'll ever be. It's, it's happened all over the world for centuries, if not longer. And it because, even Charlemagne, he, the later parts of his life, he only drank beer. That's pretty much all he did. He's supposed to be this great monarch, uh, the perfect monarch, uh, bred between two noble families. But anyway, that was kind of a weird side note. But anyway, um, this can, this can take everything that you have. Anything that you have as a sentient being, as a human, as a person separate from material, with free choice and uh, the ability to understand things, it can take all that away from you to where you just try and feed this that desire like a hungry fish or a shark if you prey on other people or just a simple blade of grass that only wants the sun. The addiction, feeding that addiction and the material you feed it with becomes the sun and you only grow towards that you don't try to bend towards anything else or grow in any other direction but to that one thing and I would urge you if you can if you are addicted try to peel away from that uh, solar union the union of you and going towards it try to peel away from that which will take everything from you in exchange for a few moments of high. Because I've experienced a lot of different highs and I've been addicted to a lot of different things. And it will take your life away because life is composed of moments. It's composed of seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months. And it will take most of that and turn it into your drive to only get the one thing you focus on. It'll destroy you. And there's really nothing anybody can say to somebody who's addicted because I've been there. And uh, there are times when I go back there, I'm not gonna lie. There's nothing that anybody can say. You have to come up with your own reasons to exist in a better way. You have to come up with your own reasons to work past the pain of the state that you're in. You have to come up with a purpose in life that is separate from you being addicted, from uh, the person that you are when you are addicted. And if you don't come up with that, you'll lose, you'll lose your life. If not from overdose, it'll be from a life of meaningless effort. That's all I got to say about addiction. That's been my daily vlog, episode 17. And uh, if you liked uh, anything that I had to say, or if you thought that, uh, you know, something I had to say had some substance to it. Please give a like and a subscribe. I'd love a subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.